Today we are in downtown Plant City and behind us is the Brick House Cafe. Used to be a jailhouse, is that right? It's the first ever Brick House, I think, and then it got moved to the location of where the first jailhouse was, I think. Yeah. It says on their website. Crazy story though, the owner of this place, I know we've mentioned that my parents have a full nativity blow mold set and we actually found it because the owner of this place was selling it. So we came down to Plant City, bought it from her and she told us. Yeah, a couple years ago. Yeah, a couple years ago. She told us about her restaurant here in downtown. So we said, one of these days we're gonna come back and do a review at it. So that's what we are doing. It does appear that it's a little busy. It is a Saturday morning, like at nine o'clock, I think. I didn't even look at my watch. I just, yep, yeah. 9.07. So we're gonna go see what the brick house is like in downtown Plant City. Let's go check it out. Welcome to historic downtown Plant City. So here's the parking lot. We just parked right over on the road there, but it seems to be pretty full today. Seems like a popular spot. BH Brickhouse Cafe. See if we can find the hours. I think they're only open for lunch and breakfast. Breakfast and lunch. There's some more parking over here, but we will find out shortly. So it says closed Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. I don't know the hours. Thursday and sat to Saturday. I don't know the hours. Sunday it says seven to two. Maybe we'll look online and see. This is what it looks like in here. Looks like you have to put your name on a list. Established 2008. And, well, there's gonna be a little bit of a wait. Here is what this front area looks like to uh, a little waiting area here. They do have some awards over here on the wall. Online it shows seven to two every day besides Monday and they are closed. We were able to get our name on a list. You go in, you just write your name on the list and then they started calling some people. So I'm not sure how long of a wait it'll be, but it is pretty crowded in there. It really didn't take that long to get seated. What, maybe 10, 10 minutes or so? So that's not bad at all. So this is where we came in this way. This is what it looks like in here. I like the big brick house wall over there. Restrooms are through that doorway to the left. It's like a little bar here. And then look at this, we've got some cakes and pies and dessert over here. Check out the like painting on this wall, that's cool. Now when we talked to the owner a couple years ago, she said they have really good burgers, but since we are here early, we're gonna get breakfast. Let's have a look at that breakfast menu. So we've got early to rise. Down here we have omelets. I might try an omelet today. We'll see. Choice of grits, hash browns, or home fries, and toast or biscuit. Down here are the drinks. They do have this southern fried grits with a box around it, but Saturday and Sunday only. Got a website down there. Up here we've got pancakes, french toast, and waffles. And something that is very interesting is they also have creme brulee waffles here. We had creme brulee french toast in the villages and they've got creme brulee waffle with fresh fruit. Also churro stuffed french toast. Down here we have side orders, biscuits and gravy, children's menu. And then on the back we have lunch menu. So get it from the grill. There's the cheeseburger she said is really good. They do have a grilled cheese for $4.99. Wow, we're gonna have to come back for lunch for sure. Grilled ham and cheese, lunch specials, salads. There's the children's menu. Lunches under $10. That's Tuesday through Friday, 11 to 2 p.m. only. Grilled cheese and bowl of soup, $9.99. Over here we have deli style sandwiches served with chips. Down here, side orders, soup of the day, and drinks. So yeah, that's a that's a good menu. Definitely gonna have to try lunch sometime. I think Timber will try the biscuits and gravy. I think I'm gonna try a ham and cheese omelet, see what that's like. Probably do, I don't know, on probably grits maybe, and then toast. Maybe hash browns. Hash browns, 
and get them crispy. That's what I think I'll do. So cinnamon rolls are $3.99, muffins $2.99, cake $5.99, pie $3.99. And the cinnamon roll is over here. So it's about 9.30 and you can see it definitely slowed down. So we got here right at the breakfast rush. Got us a water here and some coffee. We'll try the water, see how it is. You are able to order lunch. My mom got the egg salad sandwich and it's not quite 10 o'clock yet. So I don't know when they allow you to order or when not, but they definitely allow you to now anyways. So yeah, water tastes good. And they had some lemon here on the table you could put in, but the water tastes fine. Here's a look at the egg salad sandwich. That looks really tasty. Look at that, wow. That's a lot. Comes with some fruit and chips. Here is a look at that omelet. Check that out. Look at the cheese on top. That looks delicious. Toast, biscuits and gravy are looking good. Pancakes with blueberries added and also eggs. Did you get a side of eggs? Eggs and bacon. That looks good. And it's time to dig in. Correction, she substituted fruit for the chips, but they gave her both anyway. So what a deal. I have not tried it yet, but something I really enjoy is they've got cheese on top and cheese on the inside, and look at all of that ham. Looking forward to this. That is a very good omelet. That's the type of omelet I love, exactly how I was hoping it would be. This is honestly a top five ham and cheese omelet that I've had. It's just the type I like where there's cheese on the inside, cheese on the outside. It's not the ty type that has just the shredded cheese on top. I think I mentioned that when I went to the Golden Spoon in Ocala. I said he had a really good omelet there, the owner did, and it had the cheese on the inside, not the shredded cheese on top. So this is a top five omelet as well. Just tried the biscuits and gravy and that's good. It's good standard biscuits and gravy. I guess we're gonna have to dig in and try a piece of this strawberry cake. It looks delicious. Here is a look at that strawberry cake. Look at this, this looks fantastic. Let's dig in. That tastes very good. Has a real good strawberry taste to it. Tell it's homemade. The icing is very good. Also, you do pay at the front, just so you know. And here's a look at the bill. They will total it up when you go up to the front and pay. So it's just after 10 and I think a lot of people are starting to transfer over to uh, lunch now. There is a Philly steak right there that looks very good. Give this place a thumbs up. Everything's been great. That strawberry cake's worth it. We are back outside. It definitely calmed down a little bit, but man, this morning, a lot of people here. And just another look at the parking lot. It's still pretty full though. Very popular spot. You can park on the street, like I said. We've actually been into this little mercantile shop, which is cool. They have a lot of antique places. We'll come down here sometime and do a full video of downtown, go into some shops, show you some antique stuff. Pretty cool spot. That was our trip out to the Brick House Cafe here in Plant City. I give it a thumbs up. Yeah. We were actually able to talk to the owner and she was in there working. It was very busy. Something about these restaurants that have the owners working that just proves how good they actually are. I mean, there's cars turning in right now. You can probably see behind us here, just cars keep turning in. It was excellent. The strawberry cake was very good. Love the strawberry icing. My omelet, like I mentioned there, top five ham and cheese omelet that I've had. You said your biscuits and gravy were good. good. Next time we'll have to try lunch. Our waitress was really nice. Yes, and on it. They were on it. Didn't really take that long, honestly. Under an hour with parking, waiting, eating, and leaving. So I would recommend stopping by the Brick House and checking it out. Also go on their website and read about their history. Pretty cool stuff. Total price was $52. So really not that bad for all four of us to eat. With that being said, that does it for today. Thanks for watching.